Tell me, speaking of Joel Silver, as you were, this is not, of course, your first association with him. And for those who may not recall, I wonder if you can describe uh, the first time around. I played a stripper in The Last Boy Scout that took eight bullets like 15 minutes into the movie. And this time around, not only am I getting more money this time, <laughs> I get to live the entire movie and I have more of an active part. I'm very much a part of the process in this movie and that feels good. I'm sure, yes. And an interesting relationship with Kurt Russell in the film that I wonder if you, if for those who haven't seen it, uh, it's, it's a relationship. Well, you can describe it. Most of our relationship is sort of done over the phone, over a camera, and at the end we finally get together and we land a plane together and little sparks start to fly and, you know, Executive Decision 2 is the film you got to see. Right. <laughs> There's the tag for the piece right there. That's the end of the story. There is a, a wonderful sense watching the movie, a very confined space for the audience, and I'm wondering, yeah. I know it's probably just another soundstage when you're doing it, but does, did that create any different feeling while you were making the movie? It did. It, it was a sense of reality because that's really what it would be like. We had 400 passengers on the plane. Um, the bad guys with the guns out it made us all tense. We got hot, nervous a little, um, people got cranky, you know, been on the plane for 12 hours, you're ready to get off, as you would feel if you were being hijacked. So I think all that energy helped everybody. And helping out was the gimbal system a little bit? Yeah, there was a hydraulic system. That helped. It really didn't move all that much. A lot of it we did have to sort of create, but it did help. It did help. Right. And tell me a little if it, it has affected your own feelings about flying at all. I suspect you spent a lot of your life on a plane. Yeah. And really, it hasn't really, because I think I know that I have a better chance of um, surviving a plane ride than I do driving my car half the time. And I do that without a thought every single day. So I'm okay flying. Right. Maybe we'll get this on the planes after all. We'll just have <laughs> you say that a few times. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Kurt has had some experience flying, I know. Yeah. I'm wondering what, if any, uh, background you had for this role or, uh, you know. Well, not flying. I fly only as a passenger, which I was on this. I was also a flight attendant, which um, I didn't go to, you know, flight attendant school, but I did talk to a few and I found out that they're much more than waitresses in the sky and that makes them very angry to be perceived that way, that they go through extensive training and they are there to protect you in a crisis situation and that they will do that. You conveyed quickly such a tremendous sense of a very organized person, you know, who is thrown in this situation. I wonder if you have contemplated how you would react if you were in that kind of amazing situation yourself. I would probably pass out. <laughs> But if I didn't pass out, I would like to think I'd try to do something. Would I do what she did? Probably not. I can only respect what she did, but I'd like to think I'd, I'd, I'd do more than just sit in the jump seat and um, hope for the best. <laughs> right. And tell me, uh, this is uh, just, well, completely off the subject, but with Oscars just around the corner, I'm wondering if you have had a chance to see many 1995 movies, and if so, what left an impression on you? Ooh, I love Bridges of Madison County course. Um, and Dead Man Walking. I really love Susan Sarandon's performance. I heard you say you had a soft spot for tearjerkers. Yes, oh, I no. do. <laughs> Anything uh, upcoming that might fit in that uh, category for you? Tearjerker? Um, let's see. Yeah, I really two films that I have coming out. One, Race of Sun. It's a feel-good family movie. And there's Room for Tears. They're happy tears, though. Tears of Joy. And I have a film in the fall called The Rich Man's Wife. And they're tears, but um, <laughs> there's a, it's a suspense mystery. And um, there are a lot of tears in that one. Right. It's a wonderfully uh, interesting and diverse group of films that you have been doing for a while. Is there anything that you would really like to do that you have not had a chance yet to do on screen? I'd like to do a romantic comedy, I think. Um, that, that would be fun. Right. Great. Absolutely everything you said is completely usable. Thank you so oh. much. This is one of those, like losing Isaiah, we ended up just like running you for like virtually the whole piece nonstop because it was such